Uh, David, we need to talk to you a little bit about Ms. Free Throws and some money. Listen, I was so upset at myself because I hate, like, that's one of the things that I really dislike. Missing free throws is so frustrating to me. How are you going to pay that out of your pocket? For <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> that was bad. That was, yeah, that was bad. I mean. Hey, a week ago, obviously, you guys have lost two in a row. Mm-hmm. One sooner I had a big one on Wednesday. Um, just wanted to say about this team that you guys were able to rally instead of go kind of the opposite of what uh, kind of going apart. I think we came together as a team and we had a meeting. Well, the captains the three seniors and, and me, we talked about being being leaders of the team and setting good examples. Like um, body language was key. Coach talked a lot about that. So he, he said it, start, it starts with us. So we had to set the tone and practice and just move forward. We can't do anything about those games. We just got to control what we can control. Uh, Dana, um, Coach also was talking about um, Elizabeth's presence uh, on the offense and not wanting to change anything just because Elizabeth was going to be out for those two games. From a player's perspective, you know, how important is that to kind of keep that consistency in the offense, regardless of of who's in there? Well, I I just want to start by saying, E, she's really important to this team, Um, not even just offensively wise, like defense. She helps with um, cleaning up rebounds, uh, helps our defense, like when I was getting I had a post on me and she came in and got a steal. She does the little things that, that sometimes don't show up in the stat sheet. And I think to for your question, I just say we just gotta stay consistent and keep playing as a team and and keep doing what we've been doing. I think we're playing a lot better together as a whole and just listening to the game plan. You just talked a little bit about the Olympic qualifying experience and the, of course all of the travel involved and finally getting back here and uh, putting the team on a win streak. It was it was fun going to play for my country and whatnot, <clears throat> but I mean I had I learned a lot of stuff and I just brought it back to the team and it's just I don't know I'm still aware of that I went for the uh, tryout and we won and we going so it's like it was fun and I don't know I just take my coach letting me go balls and my head coach the national team head coach just letting me be on the team so. Have you caught back up with sleep? <laughs> yeah, I just finally just got my sleep back. <laughs> it was messing me up the whole time. And school, it was just, just a whole mess. But yeah, I got it back. For both of you, um, there's two weeks now left in the regular season. Um, getting back up on uh, on top of conference standings, um, you know, what's the goal, what's the mindset as, as you look to finish out the regular season and, and get into the conference tournament? Taking one game at a time. We have um, a lot of teams ahead of us that's really good. Georgia Tech is playing really good, so that's our next game. So just looking at one game at a, at a time and staying focused. We can't let this game or being NC State be the turning effect of our, of our season because we still have a lot of ball left. And even when you guys had that two game position, you still played pretty well defensively. Had a really good defensive game against NC State. I guess not bad. All right. Uh, yeah, Ball, Ball said he thought you guys played pretty well. But just what has been the key to, you, you think, to play pretty well defensively? Defensively, I think just playing together and help side. I think on the ball at NC State, it was it was really good. We didn't get beat off the bounce, so our, our post didn't have to help as much. Kylie was able to stay attached to Kunane because we knew she was a huge part of that team. So she stayed connected to Kunane and boxed her out and tried to keep her off the offensive of glass. And just us focusing on keeping everybody in front of us, I think that was that was important. So the guards, we know we can do it. We just gotta keep we just gotta keep doing it. Dana, how does having Mikasa on the floor with you and you kinda of move off the ball, how does that help your scoring? She Mikasa is a really good point guard. She she's really good at getting in the lanes and kicking and finding open people. So it, it takes a little pressure off me. I can kinda of take relax a little bit from bring the ball up. It's fun playing with her. She's she's with Georgia Tech coming up, uh, is, is this one a little something special for you and Liz, or just another game in this game? It's something um, special. I can't wait to play them. Like I want to, I want to play right now if I, if I can. <laughs> but it's like, like she said, take a, we take the the game one day at a time, and each game we we focus in each scout report. So I'm just ready to be like ready to focus on this scout report and just play as hard as I can. 
Dana, uh, uh, team got 24 assists. You got seven of them. Acosta got nine. 24 assists off 33 baskets. How important is it to kind of have that kind of you know um, efficient passing, effective offense uh, for this team to succeed? It's really important. I feel like we knock down open shots. So coach was saying, why take a contested shot when we can get something easy? So when he was telling us push the ball in transition, I got it below the free throw line. I was able to hit Liz on a dump pass for a layup. Just little things like that, pushing the ball, finding an open man, and just having your feet set. Sometimes I have to scream at you to shoot the ball. She's wide open. So and you just got to tell them, knock it down when you pass it to them because we, we shoot a pretty high percentage when we're, when we're open. Thank you. Thank you. All right.